Hello, everyone, and welcome to French Guiana for the 105th flight of an Ariane 5, the third Ariane 5 of 2019. Today, our launcher will be launching an American satellite, Intelsat 39, and a European satellite, EDRSC. Thank you for being with us here. I'm glad to be here. H0 is at uh, 4.30 p.m in Guyana, 3.30 in Washington, and 9.30 p.m. in Toulouse and Washington. These are the 608th and 609th satellites launched by Ariane Space. And I'm speaking to you from the terrace at the Jupiter Center. The launch zone is straight ahead of me, 14 kilometers from where I am. This is our heaviest launcher. And from our position of 5.3 degrees, north. Uh, we benefit from the so-called slingshot effect. So we're going to have a look at the launcher here. It measures 51.3 meters high, 775.3 tons of mass at liftoff, and the performance of this launch will be 10,671 kilos with a thrust at liftoff of 13,000 newtons. We're going to go under the fairing to look at our two passengers and the upper Birth, the first that will be separated is Intelsat 39 with a mass of 6,600 kilos. And in the lower position, EDRSC with a mass of 3,186 kilos. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage du Vulcan. Allumage du ZRP et décollage. Paramètre bourse sont normaux, la propulsion est nominale. de la manœuvre en roulis. Les paramètres bord sont nominaux. So at 1630 local here in French Guiana with a lot of fire and with two new satellites rising into the bright blue sky. Wonderful pictures trailing the exhaust flames of gold. The two boosters providing 90, that's 90% of our thrust right now, propelling the launcher along her trajectory at an ever higher velocity. 775 tons at liftoff, hard to believe. But to get that sort of mass off the ground, you need a lot of push. And push we have, push you can see there, she's burning five tons of fuel every second. Two and a half tons are burning every second in each of the boosters. Plus, the core stage, the middle stage, burning another 300 kilos of fuel every second. Ariane 5 is now following the program in the onboard computer, which gives all the orders, including stage separations. We're going to see those in uh, just about uh, 20 seconds. We're in the first of four flight phases as we pass to the animation. We'll be describing each in turn, so you can follow Ariane on her way east across the Atlantic. Right now, the first flight phase, as you can see on the animation, the single first stage engine and the two boosters are burning. The boosters burn just over two minutes. Nominal, la trajectoire est nominale. Tous les paramètres bord sont normaux. The DDO says everything is, is perfect on board, and he's announced the separation of the boosters, and you can see that. That's the two points of light on the top, the flames of the two boosters flaming out. The single point of light below that is the lower stage, which continues to burn. Fine shots. We may even have shots of the fairing separation coming up in less than a minute. That'll make another two points of light in the bright blue sky. Boosters fall 500 kilometers from shore into a protected area. 
Look on your screen on the bottom, our altitude, 104 kilometers. On the right, our speed, 2.27 kilometers per second. The speed we need to inject the satellites, roughly 8 or 9 Separation kilometers like per second as we've separated the fairing. There are actually two halves. There's another half on the uh, starboard side of the vehicle, which is out of camera range. We can separate the fairing now because we're out of the dense layers of the atmosphere. Over 100 kilometers up, there's neither friction nor heating, which could disturb the passengers. We are coming up on, on cutoff of the lower stage. You see on the animation, the nozzle shutting down. And there's the separation of the stage. And you'll see the nozzle on the upper stage light up there. There we are. These three commands given by the onboard computer in about 13 seconds. The lower stage will fall into the Atlantic off the Gulf of Guinea. You remember our mass at liftoff, 775 tons. Well, we're down now after separation of the first stage and all the fuel gone. Total mass, 13. That's Intel Sat 39 on the right of the screen. Below that is the black bell-shaped structure is the SILDA. That's the carrying structure holding the second satellite. There's the scheduled separation. We're waiting for the DDO's confirmation. Separation du satellite Intel Sat 39. And there we are, the first good news, as the men from Intelsat are nodding and pleased. You see they're holding, very politely holding their applause, because the mission, of course, is not over yet. We still have to separate our final passenger, EDRS-C, coming up on SILDA separation. You'll see that. The SILDA will be pushed away from the mothership, just like the satellites were. And there you are, there's the scheduled separation of the SILDA. Separation du système de lancement double Ariane, le SILDA. And the DDO has confirmed it. This time for the second passenger tonight. Remember, we're representing years of work for many of these people. Well, the final good news, as you can hear.